What do we need when we talk about ethics in the conversational AI? So conversational AI systems, uh, you know, includes those chatbots that you can talk to, and then also something called task-oriented dialogue systems that, you know, like the uh, smartphone assistants that help you complete some tasks. These are all called conversational AI. Now, ethics, why is it primary an issue of ethics? Um, you know, with the recent development in this area, the chatbots become very, very powerful and very, very human-like. So you talk to them and you think they're human. On the other hand, you know, they will tell you things that are not true and they will tell you things that are biased. And there are two reasons for all these kind of mistakes. One is that, uh, you know, they're trained from a lot of data, uh, everything under the sun on the internet. And the society, our society is biased and there's a lot of bad things as well as good things that's being encoded uh, in the data on the internet. So these chatbots can say some things that are harmful, undesirable and so on. And uh, we need to be aware of that and we need to mitigate that. And the other kind of errors they're making comes from the fact that AI models uh, tend to hallucinate. So these are very powerful generative models. They tend to hallucinate facts that are not true. So if you ask the chatbot about who, um, who Pascal Fong is, it will tell you some things. Some of it is correct and others will be completely false. So, and then we cannot tell which ones are correct and which ones are false. So it doesn't matter if you don't know everything about me that's true, but it matters if you ask them questions about medical information you know, or some advice on investment and so on, right? So in this case, um, again, the uh, ability of chatbots to be truthful is a, a very important issue. So these are kind of uh, values that, uh, that's important to humans and how to align you know, our chatbots with these kind of values becomes an ethical issue. So ethics is um, about the good practice, uh, you know, acceptable good practice and principles, human values, and how we want them to be manifested in our chatbots. Why do we need the ethics in the AI? The laws are not enough. Law, you, exactly. So ethic, ethical principles are beyond laws. Uh, laws are very clear, right? Laws have to be every, you know, very super clear uh, in terms of every single word in the law. And it takes a long time for lawmakers, you know, and the society to agree on some language in the legal language. So today, for example, in AI, we have laws that that governs the data privacy. Data privacy is an issue that has been in discussion for over 40, 50 years. And now we do have laws about data privacy. But um, other aspects of ethics, such as um, harmful content, such as uh, fairness and bias, inclusivity, this is gonna take a long time for the society and different societies to discuss and come up with a consensus. Before we have such consensus, we cannot have legal language and we cannot have laws. And in addition to that, ethical principles can be dynamic, you know, they're context dependent and they're culturally dependent. So today in the society, we have lots of such multi, um, multi-task order discussions about what are the correct, what are the good ethical principles that everybody can agree on. And before we arrive at that uh, common consensus, it's difficult to have a legal language. And yet we still need to make sure our AI systems are doing good and not doing harm. So we uh, look at ethical principles and try to incorporate them into our AI systems before these principles become laws. Can you tell us some concrete rules uh, about ethics in the AI, for instance? The main rules of which are, you say, uh, to tell the truth, but also, Yes, so, um, you know, in, uh, I mean, there are different kind of ethical principles. Uh, every country in the world, uh, most countries in the world, I would say, most countries in the world have some kind of guideline on ethical principles in AI. And I have mostly looked at the ethical principles on AI from China, as well as from the EU. And there's a lot of commonality and there's some slight differences. For example, in EU, we're very concerned about um, AI not doing bad meaning that it, it's, it's not doing harm. So this is a, a, a particular, it's a, it's a kind of techno-pessimistic view um, where we are, are trying to mitigate harm. 
So what are these harms? Um, that harms people can agree on, right? So it should not be telling lies. It should not misinform. It should not um, say racist and sexist things and so on. So, and it should not generate um, things that are pornographic or, or so on. So these are what people can agree on. And the ha how to mitigate harm is a big concern of EU principles. If you look at the Chinese ethical principles, they also agree we should not, you know, AI should not do harm. But the Chinese principles emphasize how AI should be used to do good. Okay, it should be used to bring harmony to the society. It should be uh, subject to open collaboration and so on. So there's kind of slightly different focus, and yet they all uh, talk about the same things. So uh, these are some of the concrete examples I can give.